Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today, I decided to paint some rocks. I just watched Rachel's Rocks and she did like a crackle technique with a flower. Um, her rocks were a little bit bigger than these ones. Um, probably this technique would work better on <laughs> larger and probably somebody who has a little bit more skill with painting on rocks. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, Memorial Day is coming up and I saw her rocks and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to put rocks on a few people's graves because we go around to the cemeteries and put flowers out. And my aunt passed away in February and my mom has passed away, and two other of her sisters have passed away. So I decided I would make a rock for each of the sisters and take them out on Saturday. Well, I'm hoping to get this up for Saturday, so today. <laughs> um, and just put them on the graves. So I, if I do that, get them done, um, I will post pictures on my Instagram of that um, if you're interested <laughs> anyway so Rachel's Rocks hers are really awesome and she's got some really good steady hand skills with that gold paint um, mine not so much but hey <laughs> this is my first time trying to paint a rock like she did I've done a rock before but uh, nothing like this so I put, I drew a circle on there and then put some black paint and then I'm doing gold around the edges and then once that's all dry, now she used a crackle medium but I didn't have any and I know Elmer's glue works, it doesn't work quite as well but I figured I would give it a try and it worked well enough for it to look crackled. Actually I think it just looks messy but <laughs> you can give me your opinion. Um, the ones I do a little later, I that I don't show me creating, because I did four. The two that I do at the end, I did use Elmer's glue, but I think it dried a little long before I got the paint on. So they didn't crackle quite as much. I think the pink one that I do crackles the most, and I think that's the one I paint first, if I remember. I tried to remember all my, my mom and her sister's favorite colors. My mom's is pink. And the neck, the other one I do is blue, and that is my aunt Marilyn. Um, is blue, and then Joanne is green, and Charlotte, I didn't know, so I made an orange and yellow flower because I wanted them to all be different. So I'm taking just some white paint and um. Some of the pink, and this is my Hippie Crafter acrylic paint. I'll have links to the Hippie Crafter paint um, in the description box below if you're interested in some of their paint. It's pretty good stuff. The pink is pretty transparent though, and that's why it's so light when I add it to the white. And then I add more, and it's still way light. Like, it looks a little darker in the pot there, but when I go to paint it, you can hardly even tell. Yeah, see? Doesn't look any different. So, I grab out some fluorescent, well, some brighter pink, and uh, I use that, but it's still transparent. That pink is just very transparent. Anyway. So that, I think that helps contribute to the messy appearance of the flowers. <laughs> that and the crackle. And you'll see the crackle once they start to dry. Um, plus it'll be very noticeable in the pictures at the end, I think. So now I'm just doing that one straight. And it is also very transparent, so I just kind of... Um, glob it on. <laughs> I 
I think the one that looks the best painted is the green one. Of course, I don't show painting that one, but you'll see it in the end. So there's the pink one, and now I'm going to do the blue one. And I actually do green on the bottom, and then, so instead of them being petals, I guess they're more like leaves. And then we'll add some blue. And that Elmer's glue is not completely dry, but it's dry enough that you can paint over it without getting all gooey with the glue. So, in case you wanted to know how dry that needs to be, some of it you can still see the white of the glue. And the petals would probably look less messy if I waited for each layer to dry, but I'm impatient that way, and uh, I didn't want to wait. So they're actually still kind of wet. See how much crackling there's going on there? They're still a little bit wet, but I figured they were dry enough that I could go around the petals with some gold and help kind of define the lines between the different petals. Now the gold paint is just a craft paint, it's not hippie crafter. If I remember and if I find it, I will link Rachel Rock's um, video down below. Um, Hers are awesome and clean and so professional looking, where mine are a little bit of a hot mess. <laughs> but it was still fun to do it. And it's fun to give things a try, you know. If I'd been painting rocks forever, I might have a little bit more skill. But these rocks came from my... Um, from Woodby Island in Washington. Um, I brought them home. I don't live there. I live in Utah. And I had intended on painting on them. Um, but they've just been sitting here for a few years. Now I'm going to have to go back and get some more. Because I used the three I had. Alright, so once I get that gold on there, then I'm taking a stencil, a little teeny stencil brush, and just dabbing a little bit of black in the center, and then I'm going to go back and add a little bit of gold. Once I've got those centers the way I want them. I don't see. I didn't even wait for that to dry. <laughs> I just added the gold right on top. Okay, so here they are. I did add a little bit of glitter to the center of those flowers. And yeah, I hope you like them. Give it a try. It's not that difficult. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And thank you all for watching.